Hey, hola, Marty. We didn't even see you, brother. Hi. How are you, you know? Cousin. Oh, okay. I didn't see you. I was like, why the fuck is Marty there? You should come here, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, and I also, I also got to tell you about, um... Well, you know, um... I had, a, I had a meeting yesterday, or not yesterday, but like two days ago. Yeah. I had a meeting with Flippy. And they have a problem with my prices again. How are do they? How are they? Like, I thought you were... Okay. Okay. What's the problem now, eh? Okay. Well, I, I'll give it to you. Long story short. Long story short. Uh, me and Pigeon. Me and Pigeon agreed on prices. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, shit. Let me turn off that thing, a certain price. That's too big. I had some customers uh, hinting that Pigeon did not sell for those prices and his prices were cheaper so i told pigeon i'm gonna break the deal right and uh, apparently flippy is not happy that i'm breaking the deal and he wants us to sell at a certain price but that's not gonna happen because now all of a sudden he cares but you know back a month ago when we did it he didn't care right so well, bro what, like uh, why would you give a fuck about them like they will always always have problems you know what i mean the only problem I have is I'm going back to prison for six fucking years, so, you know. No, no, but that's what I mean, bro. Like, you know, they would always have problems, bro. Flippy and these boys, bro, like, listen, man. Like, even, you know, before you ran the market for it, even before that, we have ran the market for a long time, right? These guys don't do shit, bro. Then they just come out of the blue and always be like, we got a problem, you know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, that's why I always be like, you see, last time, even when I got the kidnapping thing, you see nothing happen, because I ignore those shit, bro, because people move on after a day and then I make money, you know what I'm saying? So like, mm. I, I, you're making deals with Pigeon, but he's fucking throwing you ass under the bus every fucking day. Exactly. Like, how is that a deal, deal then? No yeah, I, I'm telling you, you should continue to sell in prison, eh? I think we are bad. What you think, Mari? Wouldn't that be a badass movie if he still sells in prison? Yeah, but uh, Future is also going to prison, and Ming, Ming's, uh, Ming's in rest mode. So if he still sold while in prison. And then a war happens. It's yeah, basically just me getting my ass kicked. It's not a good time right now for us to, uh, cause I'm gonna be honest with you, Speedy. That uh, uh, Flippy was throwing a lot of threats out there. You know, he was. Uh... Was he after or uh, before he knew you guys were going to prison? Ah, uh, before. Mm. Oh yeah. I see. But either I'm way, not... either way, it's kind of a problem right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I. I half, the gang, half the gangs ain't locked up, and half the gangs uh, not around. Yeah, I, I, I see the I see the gang wars, you know, it's always like this, it's always timings, you know what I'm saying? And which just makes sense, you know, if I was a gang leader myself, I'd do the same thing, right? You see, if the other gang is, you know, you know deep, you know, you don't fuck around if they're not deep, you know? Hmm. Hey, you're the seller, brother, we support you, you know what I mean? You do the path you think is Gucci, we got you, right? Hmm.